We're going to use that noon light in just a few minutes, but on a typical wedding day, uh, you might start at you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning or so, and uh, you're at a bride's home. It is a perfect opportunity, uh, as you can see all of this, this abundance of light coming through. It's a great opportunity to use a little bit of this window light. I try to make the bride look beautiful, and I actually did uh, a segment, one of my online lessons is called Making the Bride Look Beautiful. I'm going to kind of touch on a little bit of that uh, once again. I just want to show you how I might take my bride in this beautiful window light, reduce the amount of light I'm dealing with. I'm going to bring these shades down a little bit and use some of the, the darker areas of my wood floor here in my studio to make a beautiful portrait. So we're going to have Sarah come on in here. Sarah and Sammy are our models today. All right. And what I'll normally do, I'll actually ask my bride. Uh, do, do, pretty athletic, Sarah? You look pretty athletic. Yeah, I'm athletic. Right. Whatever it is. <laughs> Did you ever do any sports in, in high school or anything? Soccer. Great. Do you think, and the reason why I'm asking her that, if I sit there and I say to her, can you take a seat on the floor? She's going to look at me like, are you out of your freaking mind? I'm in a wedding gown. But I sort of break the ice, and I want, to, you know, I want it to be her decision of sort. So I ask her that question, and she can't give me the old, oh, I can't, I can't squat down, I can't sit down. But what I want you to do, we're going to bring you right over here, and I just want you to just take a seat. And, and you know, we've worked together before, I know, so I know you know what I'm talking about. So I want you to take a seat there. And um, good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the light level down just a little bit, especially behind. Good. I'm also going to close that window behind. I might go out of camera for a second. Whoop. There we go. Good. That's pretty good. I'm going to grab my trusty D3S and my brand spanking new 8514. <laughs> Let's not forget to format the cards. That would be good. Incidentally, uh, just a little technical thing here. I've gotten emails, I've gotten phone calls. With regard to this camera right here, a little important detail. Adam, can you focus here on these card slots? I use the D3 series bodies. This is a D3S. We've got card slot one, card slot two. Very, very important. I'm firing raw files into card slot one. And then as a backup, I'm, following, uh, I'm fi firing fine JPEGs into card slot two. I use a 16 gig card in card slot two for the backup JPEGs, and I don't have to remove that card. And I fire my raws into eight gig cards. So we've got it set. Very, very important details. You never, ever know when you're going to get that once in a lifetime corrupt card. Maybe a little more than once in a lifetime. So I like to stand a little bit above my bride. So I'm going to get a ladder. I can use my apple boxes. Um, I'm going to grab a ladder over here. You can use a chair. You can use just about anything. You can use, you know, mom's great sofa. Kidding. And Sammy, we're actually going to bring you over here. Get, get, out of the, get out of the frame, Sammy. Come on. Good. And um, right now, what I'm going to do, my metering mode, by the way, presently, is going to be in manual. Uh, why am I going to use manual? Because it's not, my exposure value on her face is not going to change. We'll talk a little bit later about why I use aperture priority much of the time. Okay. But right now, I'm in manual. What ISO do I want to use? Great question. As low as I can go. As low as I can go to enable me to use a shutter speed that's going to stop my action. I don't need a very fast shutter speed. I'm probably, I can probably get away with you know, a 60th and 80th right in that neighborhood. But I'll probably wind up using about a 250th or so. What is my aperture value right now? Well, <laughs> this is an 8514. This is my preferred lens to do beautiful portraits of a bride sitting like this. And I always use it wide open. I always use it wide open. The bouquet that I'm going to get, the area out of focus, is going to be sensational. So I'm going to get a little bit above her. Um, and Sarah, you look fantastic, first of all. That's another thing that I'm trying to do, is just make her comfortable. I've got this great 10 o'clock light coming right out there. And just lean this way just a little bit, Sarah. That's great. Good. And you're going to look right up at me, Sarah. Good. That's great. Beautiful. 
Now, I just did a quick glance at my LCD. I missed by a hair. I sped my shutter up just a little bit. I'm at ISO 400. I'm going to drop it to 200. 250 at 1.4, I've nailed my exposures. And so, you know what? Bring that right hand right around to your waist. Bring it right down there. Good. That's gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to use the focus point in the top left right now so that I can focus right on her eye. And at 1.4, this is very important to keep in mind, some of you may use the center focus point and recompose. That's fine, but not at 1.4. What I'm going to do is choose the upper focus point at 1.4 and watch how I, I just don't move the camera. Recomposing is like that. I'm going to be right there. Beautiful. Now I've got my exposure, got my focus point, and I can just work the moment. Good. Sarah, all I want you to do right now, with your eyes, I just want you to look down just a little bit. Beautiful, just like that. And what am I going to do now? I'm going to take the focus point and put it right on her left eyelash. And you can even look down just a little bit more. That's gorgeous. Good. What I try to do also is just subtle movement, a little bob, a little weave, Change the composition just slightly. Good. Good. And now I'm going to change my position just a little bit. And Sarah, I just want you to look right over your left shoulder and down. Your other left. <laughs> Good. Good. That's beautiful. And not so much. A little bit to the right. Now just eyes down just a little bit. There we go. And one more time with your right hand just right in there. Beautiful. I don't want to chop the hand off, so I want that hand right in there. That's gorgeous. I really do like these, Sarah. You look fantastic. Every once in a while, what I might do to give the bride a little confidence, I might show her the LCD. Oh, wow, that's good. <laughs> Every once in a while, if I feel as though she's a little uncomfortable. So, here we are, it's 10 o'clock, we've got some beautiful light coming in, and we've got a beautiful bride to start the day. Thank you. On to 12 o'clock.